Hey everyone, how's it going out there? It's MotoLabDirtBikes.com. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick overview 2021 WP AER Air Fork. So we got a lot of changes for this year, I think, which some are really going to work out quite well. Um, externally, first thing you're really going to notice is the tool less adjustment. So this is going to be the damping side of the fork. Right bottom side leg. That's pretty sweet. Definitely welcome change on that for sure. Um, other things that we're really just tearing apart and noticing right away. Some of the things I think they've been working on for a while. Uh, really here is this, this bottom out bumper. So right on the end of this housing here. You have a different diameter uh, seal and bushing head right here. So what that does is probably dampens the uh, extreme metal to metal feel if you were to bottom out harshly. So you have this machine nut here and uh, this this sits externally on that guy so I'll just put that in there for visual reference so it's just a kind of a uh, rubberized elastomer maybe you know who knows what composition exactly it is um, another cool thing that uh, they've done as far as some of the damping characteristic on here <clears throat> was the uh, so this giant oversized piston really does the job of you know both sides because all your damping is literally just in one leg uh, so this is uh, a modified SX style stack so in other words before they just had this laser cut uh, spring steel plate just a check plate that went up against here and which allowed for some float it would allow the washer to actually just uh, bypass some fluid now with the SX models, they had a, a shim stack like this that would go up against the piston. However, they had no float. So float literally means the distance that the stack will move down uh, before the fluid actually acts on or bends the shim stack itself. So this is kind of cool. They got a different rebound post and the housing right here that has the two bleed port holes here right there above my thumb, uh, which has a check plate and it allows for basically, long story short, uh, a bunch of different adjustment capability, which is really nice. Uh, another thing that we noticed here is they got rid of this just cheap stamped nuts. Thank goodness, I mean, that just was the cheapest of the cheap. So that's really cool, refreshing to see. Uh, I haven't popped these off yet, so uh, it may even be a nylock of some sort. So that's cool. Good changes, uh, lots of different length changes here. Uh, the end of the nut and um, the rod that goes inside there, uh, probably to accommodate that. Uh, different uh, nylon, uh, it's actually a retaining ring and it looks like uh, the old nylon ring that they used on there that was held in with a sur clip was used to tune some of the fluid char characteristic flows. When it's fully bottomed out, uh, it looks like they got two in one here. If you can see the little tangs, but it's used as a, a retaining ring as well as, you know, something to tune the, the uh, bottom out control on there as well. So uh, a couple other changes here on the air side. Uh, different diameter seal housing here at the end. Here I'll separate these pieces so you can see what's what. Um, sorry about that. There we go. So you can see a little bit better. And different diameter seal housing here went, uh, I hadn't measured back to back with the other one, but for reference, we're talking about a 24 to 32 millimeter wrench to get this seal housing off. Literally just has a couple seals and a bushing in there. Uh, same thing, different machine nut on there. They kind of been working on changing that. Top out spring remains the same. Um, may have made a small change, insignificant. Uh, two big changes up here in the air side. The solid nylon piece that they had up on here before, which is now actually uh, hollow tube. So I say hollow, meaning that you got about five thousandths on either side, and if you can see that, there we go. So it's got a little tapered lip, and it's got about five thousandths aside, so you can actually take your thumb and push on it. I'm not sure if we could see that. Push it side to side. So I think what they're trying to achieve there is that when the fork fully tops out, in other words, you know, your fork fully extends, you don't get this, um, 
you know, I don't want to say violent, but more mechanical, uh, you know, extension on there, especially on the higher pressure when you're running on the forks. Um, another tuning thing they've been working with, and I see they went just full bore on it this year, is, see these relief holes drilled in here? There used to be one tiny one. I think they're experimenting with certain models, and now there's four larger diameter holes. I think what they're doing is using the cavity inside the uh, hollow uh, rod itself to uh, aid as a, some type of tuning mechanism there. To uh... So anyway, it's kind of cool. Just a quick overview. Um, if you guys ever need any help as far as lowering stuff, we have a kit that's done in-house or exclusively through your dealer. And uh, all we have right now is just two inch lowering kits on here. Obviously some custom valving stuff in-house. In we'll be uh, riding and testing these more and hoping to get you guys some video footage on that as well. So, all right, shoot us uh, a call or an email, motolabdirtbikes.com. And I hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.